In what part of the female reproductive system does fertilization typically occur? Your options uterus, fallopian tube, ovary, or cervix? The correct answer is fallopian tube. The fertilization commonly occurs in the fallopian tube where the egg and sperm meet. Question number two. What is the term for the period when a woman ceases to menstruate and can no longer conceive naturally? Menarche, menopause, ovulation, or pregnancy? The correct answer is menopause. The menopause is the natural biological process that marks the end of a woman's reproductive years. Question number third. What is the term for a fertilized egg as it travels through the fallopian tube to the uterus? Your options. Blastocyst, Morula, Zygote or Embryo. And the correct answer is Zygote. The term for fertilized egg as it travels through the fallopian tube is called as Zygote. It becomes a blastocyst upon reaching the uterus. Next question. What is the purpose of the hormone prolactin in breastfeeding? Your options. Stimulating uterine contractions. Triggering the letdown reflex. Promoting milk production or regulating menstrual cycles. The correct answer is promoting milk production. The prolactin is the hormone that is responsible for stimulating and maintaining milk production during the breastfeeding. Hi friends, you are watching 100 most important, most repeated MCQs on human pregnancy. And it is second part of this video series. I am sure that you don't want to miss the first part. And the link given in the description or you can click on this i button. And friends, if this video is helping you, then please support us by liking, subscribing and sharing our channel. Which hormone is responsible for the letdown reflex during breastfeeding? Your options Prolactin, Oxytocin, Estrogen, or Progesterone. And the correct answer is Oxytocin. The oxytocin stimulates the letdown reflex, allowing milk to flow from the mammary glands during breastfeeding. Next question. What is the primary function of the amniotic sac during pregnancy? Your options. Protection against infections. Facilitating fetal movement. Providing a cushion for the fetus or controlling hormone levels. The correct answer is providing a cushion for the fetus. The amniotic sac surrounds the fetus, providing a protective cushion and maintaining a stable environment for fetal development as we seen earlier in the last video. Next question. What is the purpose of the meconium in a newborn's bowl moment? Your options. Digesting nutrients. Providing immunity, eliminating waste products, or clearing respiratory passages. The correct answer is eliminating waste products. The meconium is the first stool of a newborn consisting of materials ingested during the time spent in the uterus. It helps eliminate waste from the digestive system. Next question. Which hormone is responsible for maintaining the uterine lining during the menstrual cycle? Your options. 
estrogen progesterone follicle stimulating hormone fsh or luteinizing hormone lh the correct answer is progesterone the progesterone is a crucial is very important to maintain the uterine lining during the second half of the menstrual cycle okay the next question is what is the term for the release of an egg from the ovary your options menstruation ovulation fertilization or implantation the correct answer is ovulation ovulation is the process in which a mature egg is released from the ovary next question which structure connects the fetus to the placenta for nutrient and waste exchange your options umbilical cord amniotic sac chorionic villi or placental membranes the correct answer is umbilical cord the umbilical cord connects the fetus to the placenta allowing it for exchanging of nutrients and it also does eliminate of waste products next question what is the primary role of the hormone hcg the human chorionic gonadotropin during early pregnancy so what is the primary role of this hormone hcg your options does it stimulate uterine contraction does it maintain the uterine lining does it detect the pregnancy in test or does it initiate lactation the correct answer is it detects pregnancy in test the scg is the hormone detected by pregnancy test and it is level and its level rise during the early pregnancy next question is which organ is responsible for producing hormones such as estrogen and progesterone during pregnancy your options are ovary placenta uterus or adrenal gland the correct answer is placenta the placenta takes over the production of hormones like estrogen and progesterone to support pregnancy after the first trimester next question what is the term for the surgical procedure to deliver a baby through an incision in the mother's abdomen and uterus your options episiotomy cesarean section c section forceps delivery or vacuum extraction the correct answer is cesarean section c section a cesarean section is a surgical procedure to deliver a baby when a vaginal delivery is not advisable or possible next question what is the purpose of the hormone prolactin in breastfeeding your options stimulating uterine contractions triggering the letdown reflex promoting milk production or regulating menstrual cycles the correct answer is promoting milk production the prolactin is the hormone that is responsible for stimulating and maintaining milk production during the breastfeeding next question during which stage of a labor does the cervix dilate to allow the baby to pass through the birth canal your options first stage second stage third stage or fourth stage the correct answer is first stage the first stage of a labor involves cervical dilation and it effacement to prepare for childbirth right 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द टर्म फॉर द टेम्प्रोरी एंडोक्राइन ऑर्गन दैट फॉर्म्स इन द यूटरस ड्यूरिंग प्रेग्नेंसी एंड इज एसेंशियल फॉर हारमोन प्रोडक्शन यू ऑप्शन प्लेस एंटर एमनियोटिक सैक कुरियोनिक वेली और फेलोपियन ट्यूब द करेक्ट आंसर इज प्लेस सेंटर द प्लेस सेंटर इज अ टेम्प्रोरी एंडोक्राइन ऑर्गन दैट फॉर्म्स इन द यूटरस ड्यूरिंग प्रेग्नेंसी एंड इट इज क्रूशियल इट इज क्रूशियल फॉर हार्मोन प्रोडक्शन टू सपोर्ट द डिवलपिंग इन द स्टमक नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज द प्राइमरी फंक्शन ऑफ ऑक्सीटोसिन हार्मोन ड्यूरिंग द लेबर वट इज द प्राइमरी फंक्शन ऑफ इट यू ऑप्शन इनिशिएटिंग कॉन्ट्रैक्शन ओके स्टिमुलेटिंग मिल्क एजेक्शन नेक्स्ट मेंटेनिंग यूटराइन लाइनिंग और प्रमोटिंग फीटल मूवमेंट एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज इनिशिएटिंग कॉन्ट्रैक्शन ऑक्सीटोसिन प्लेज अ की रोल इन इनिशिएटिंग यूटराइन कॉन्ट्रैक्शन ड्यूरिंग लेबर फेसिलिटेटिंग द बर्थिंग प्रोसेस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ द फीटल मूवमेंट्स फेल्ड बाय द मदर ड्यूरिंग प्रेग्नेंसी यू ऑप्शन इंडिकेटिंग द बेबीज जेंडर स्ट्रेंथनिंग द यूटराइन मसल्स फेसिलिटेटिंग द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द बेबीज मसल्स एंड बोन्स और इनिशिएटिंग द ऑनसेट ऑफ लेबर द करेक्ट आंसर इज फेसिलिटेटिंग द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द बेबीज मसल्स एंड बोन्स the fetal movements help in the development of the baby's muscles and bones and provide re reassurance of the baby's well being next question which condition is characterized by high blood sugar levels during the pregnancy so which condition is characterized your options gestational diabetes type 1 diabetes type 2 diabetes or or hyperthyroidism the correct answer is gestational diabetes is the right answer the gestational diabetes okay it is a type of diabetes that develops during the pregnancy and it is associated with high blood sugar levels next question what is the term for the process during which the fertilized egg implants itself into the uterine lining your options ovulation fertilization implantation or conception the correct answer is implantation the implantation is the process in which the fertilized egg attaches itself to the uterine lining marking the beginning of pregnancy next question what is the purpose of the epidural anesthesia commonly used during childbirth your options inducing labor contraction relieving pain during labor assisting with delivery of the placenta or accelerating cervical dilation the correct answer is relieving pain during labor the epidural anesthesia is administered to relieve pain during labor by numbing the lower half of the body next question which prenatal screening test assesses the risk of chromosomal abnormalities such as down syndrome your options ultrasound chorionic villus sampling cvs aminosynthesis non invasive prenatal testing nipt the correct answer is non invasive prenatal testing nipt the nipt is a blood test okay that assesses the risk of chromosomal abnormalities without invasive procedures next question what is the term for discharge of the placenta following childbirth your options epicytotomy lochia or vernix caesiosa the correct answer is b and that is lochia the lochia is the postpartum discharge containing blood 
mucus and uterine tissues that occurs after the delivery of the placenta. Next question. Which condition is characterized by the backward displacement of the uterus during pregnancy? Your options. Placenta previa, ectopic pregnancy, retroverted uterus or uterine prolapse. The correct answer is retroverted uterus. A retroverted uterus is a condition where the uterus is tilted backward rather than forward, which may or may not cause complication during pregnancy. Next question. What is the term for the medical procedure used to visualize the fetus in the uterus using sound waves? Your options. X-ray, magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, ultrasound or CT scan. The correct answer is ultrasound. The ultrasound is a non-invasive imaging technique that uses sound waves to visualize the fetus during pregnancy. Next question. What is the primary purpose of the hormone? Human chorionic gonadotropin HCG during early pregnancy. This question we are repeating second time. Let me see how many of you can guess the answer. Is it inducing labor? Maintaining uterine lining? Detecting pregnancy in test or promoting fetal movement? The correct answer is detecting pregnancy in test. HCG is primarily responsible for detecting pregnancy in test as its levels rise during early pregnancy. So friends, now the time is to comment your score. Out of 25, what's your score? And if you found this video helpful, then please support us. Just liking, subscribing and sharing our channel. We'll see you with the third part of this video. And the third part will be uploaded day after tomorrow. So keep watching. And if you want to get more knowledge about medical field, then please visit our channel. Thank you so much and good luck for your exams.